people Mount people Sinai, people. right? Moses went up the mountain, he came down with the Ten Commandments. To who did Moses give those Ten Commandments? To Christ's embassy? He gave it to who? The Israelite. He did not give it to Christ's embassy. He gave it to the Israelite. So, what happened was, the Israelite, they did not keep those laws. God said, if you don't keep my laws, I will punish you with another slavery, with sheep, and they will be sold as slaves. That laws were not given to Christ's embassy. Christ's embassy did not even exist. This is something, when is Christ's embassy taken? When? Ten years ago? What is that? Where is that in the Bible? Where is Christ's embassy in the Bible? No, church. no so, church. Read what you have, bro. Read, read what you have. Philemon 1 verse 2. Listen. Philemon, yeah. Yeah. That's my question. I want to hear. And to our beloved Afia, Achipos, our fellow soldier, and to the church in thy house. And to the church in thy house. If church is a building where people are going there to pray, how can that building be in somebody's house? The church is who? Give me Acts 7 verse 38. The church are the Israelites. The God chosen people are called church. This had nothing to do with Pastor Chris and his Christ embassy and his nonsense he's doing. He's, he's ordained by white people just to be deceiving people. He's not a pastor. right? Because if he's a pastor, he will know that this Bible is talking about who? The Israelites. Read Acts 7 verse 38. This is no. he that was in the church in the wilderness. In the wilderness, was there a building? There was no building, but it was called church. Who were in the wilderness? The Israelites. The God chosen people were in the wilderness. It is called what? A church. Give me that Exodus 1 verse 1. Let me show you who this Bible is addressed to. Who is this Bible talking to? No, Christians? Talk about you. This is my lender colleague. We are all Muslims. You can oh. sit down. <laughs> Let's see if this Bible is addressed to Christians. Let's see. Who is that? Exodus 1 verse 1. Let's see who this Bible is addressed to. No, these are the names no, no. of the children of Israel. Okay. These are the names of who? The children of Israel. No, these are the names of Christians. No, the names of the children of Israel. No, these are the names of Christ's embassy. The name of the children of Israel. That's who the Bible is addressed to, bro. This Bible is talking to who? The children of Israel. Israel. Give me the next scripture. Leviticus 1 verse 1. Verse 2. Speak unto the children of Israel. No, speak unto Christ's embassy. Speak unto the children of Israel. No, to the Christians. Speak unto the children of Israel. What about Presbyterians? Speak unto the children of Israel. That's who the Bible is talking to. The children of who? Israel. This Bible is not talking to Roman Catholic. Christ's embassy, Presbyterian, full gospel. It's not. It's not talking to Muslims. It's talking to the children of Israel. That's us. All right? Give Number one verse two. Take you the sum of all the congregation of the children of Israel. You see, from Genesis to Revelation, this Bible is only talking to one people. Let's jump to the New Testament. Give me Matthew one verse twenty-one. This Bible is only talking to one people. It's not talking to Christ Embassy. Christ Embassy is not even mentioned. Mm -hmm. No, when we talk like this, eh? we want others to hear too. What I'm saying is that the children of Israel. Israel was a chosen nation. Mm -hmm. yeah. Choose out of other nations, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. Meaning that those people that God chose Israel are we are then not children of we are not discretion. God not bless them also. Read Romans 9 verse 7. Let me show you that in the Bible. Romans 9 verse 7. Okay. <laughs> they will show you why God created them. God created all people but choose the Israelites to be his people. And the rest of the nation that are not chosen. They are supposed to be slaves to his chosen people. Roman 9 verse 7. Wait. Listen to this. Answer. Romans 9 verse 7. Romans 9. <laughs> Romans. In the new Romans. <laughs> After accident from Romans. Romans 9 verse 7. So, listen to this what God says. Neither because they are the seed of Abraham are they all children. Mm -hmm. Not because they are the children, they came from Abraham, are they all children, right? But in Isaac, but shall, in Isaac shall thy seed be called. See, but in Isaac shall thy seed be called. Read on. That is, they which are the children of the flesh. They which are the children of the flesh. These are not the children of God. Read that again. They these are not the children of God. They which are the children of the flesh. These are not the children of God. You hear that? Go ahead. But the children of the promise 
accounted for the seed. But the children of the promise are counted of the seed. Who are the children of the promise? Read verse 4. Who are Israelites? Who are Israelites? To whom pertain the adoption? So the adoption in the Bible pertain to who? The Israelites. The glory. The glory. The covenant. The covenant. The giving of the law. The service of God. The service of God. And the promises. So all this pertain only to the children of Israel. Yes. 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 The children of Israel yeah, yeah. were the Jews and the Gentiles, right? No, they were Jews and Gentiles. No, no. the children of Israel are the Israelites. And the Israelites. The Gentiles. There are two types of Gentiles in the Bible. Two types. One, the Israelite that became Gentile. Let me show you this. Let me show you. Just one yeah, what I want, yeah, what I want to say. Yeah, we'll see. It. Let me show you. Israel became two nations. Northern Kingdom and Southern Kingdom, because of the sins of King Solomon, Israel split into two. So these were called Gentiles. These were the Jews. These were called Gentiles. There are two Gentiles in the Bible. The Gentiles are Paul went and be preaching to. Huh? Are you listening? The Gentiles are Paul went and be teaching. Were the Northern Kingdom in Israel. These were called Gentiles. There are two types of Gentiles. Gentiles that are not Israelite and gentiles that are northern kingdom so paul mission was for this northern kingdom a lot of people get confused because they don't understand this history right here we can break it down for you if you have time all right no, I wanted to ask it. Mm -hmm. yeah my question is whosoever believes give me up to 21 yeah. whosoever believes you know, you Wait, give me, give me, see. give me the John Does 3, verse 14 and 15. Now listen. a child from the tribe of the children of Israel and the Let me ask you this, sir. Let me ask you this do, question. Do I don't have salvation? Let me ask you this question, right? Yes. If the president of this country is addressing the nation, he say, whosoever, whosoever, does that include people in China? No, no. So that's the no. same thing. No, he was so, not addressing a, that that, 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 that thing has addressed entirely the whole thing. Okay, okay. let's okay. deal with human that. Race. Okay. Let's deal with that. John 3, it give me John 3. Addressed let's, the human race. Let's, let's deal with that. Okay. Let's, let's deal with that. I want you to get the understanding. Let's play with that. John 3, let's start with verse 1. John 3, verse 1. There was a man of the Pharisees named Nicodemus, a ruler of the Jews. A ruler of who? The Jews. Go ahead. The same came to Jesus by night and said unto him, Rabbi, we know that thou art a teacher come from God. For no man can do these miracles that thou doest, except God be with him. Jesus answered and said unto him, Verily, very I say unto thee, Except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. So, who is talking here? Listen. Jesus Christ, a ruler of the Jew, and Nicodemus also a ruler of the Jew, right? Jesus Christ was a Jew, and Nicodemus a Jew. Two Jews having conversation, right? Jump to verse 14. And as Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness, as Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness, right? Even so must the Son of Man be lifted up. So to who did Moses lift up the serpent in the wilderness? Give me Numbers 21 verse 6. Hold it. Who was with Moses in the wilderness? Let's get some understanding. Two Jews having conversation, right? Say, as Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness, even so must the Son of Man be lifted up. So to who did Moses lift up the serpent in the wilderness? To who? Let's get that. Number 21 and 6. And the Lord sent fiery serpents among the people, and they beat the people, and much people of Israel died. Much people of who? Israel died. So who was with Moses in the wilderness? The Israelites. The Israelite. Right. Go back to John 3 verse 14 and 15. And as Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness. So to who did Moses lift up the serpent in the wilderness? The Israelites. Read. Even so must the Son of Man be lifted up. Even so must the Son of Man be lifted up for who? For the the Israelites. <laughs> that that mm, whosoever. That what? Whosoever. Say so whosoever, whosoever was with Moses in the wilderness. Whosoever was with Moses in the wilderness. Now that we are not in the wilderness with Moses. Are we in the promised land? Listen, listen, listen. Are we in the promised land? It means we are back to the people now. It means we are in the promised land. No, we are going to that we don't have salvation. We, yes. yeah. we, we need Wait, to go listen. right to Israel now and start our Let me ask you this. Uh, Bro, let me ask you this. Uh. Yes, sir. If you see somebody from Ethiopia, right? You ask him, who are you in the Bible? What would they say? They would say they are the Ethiopians in the Bible, right? Right? Because Ethiopia is in the Bible. Yes. Right. If you see somebody too from Egypt, you ask him the same thing. Who are you in the Bible? What would they say? They are the Egyptians because Egypt is in the Bible. Yes. So I'm asking you the Let same question. Who are you then? In the Bible? 
We don't know, right? I'm a believer in the Lord Jesus Christ. That is not a nation. What nation are you in the Bible? What nation? Cameroon is not in the Bible. Nigeria is not in the Bible. So what nation are you? Let me show you your nation in the Bible. Just say you don't know. Yeah, I don't show you. Okay, I'm going to show you. So give me Deuteronomy 28 verse. Um, what scripture is this? Give me my nation in the Bible. Yes. Matthew 18 yes. verse 11. Hello. Matthew 18 verse 11. Before we go to Deuteronomy, I will give you your nation in the Bible. All right? Matthew 18 verse 11. <clears throat> Sir. Matthew 18 verse 11. It says what? For the Son of Man is come to save that which was lost. So you are lost because you don't know your nation in the Bible, right? You are lost. So the Son of Man came to save who? Those that are lost. So who are you in the Bible? You don't know. You are lost. So the Son of Man came for you. Because you are lost, you don't know who you are in the Bible. Now give me Deuteronomy 28 and 68. Now, listen carefully. We are lost. Who are we in the Bible? We don't know our nation, right? But let us prove to you who we are in the Bible. Deuteronomy 28 and 68. Hey, are you serious? <laughs> and the Lord shall bring of Israel. Listen carefully. And the Lord and the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. And the Lord shall what? Bring thee into Egypt again with ships. Who is the Lord talking to? He's talking to the Israelites. God said he will bring the Israelites into what? Egypt again with sheep. Give me Exodus 20 verse 2. Alright? God said he will bring the Israelites into what? Egypt again with sheep. Remember, we were in Egypt. He sent Moses to set us free. He gave us laws. We did not keep that laws. As a punishment, he said he will send us back into Egypt again with sheep. Meaning what? Into slavery again with sheep. Read. I am the Lord thy God, mm -hmm. who shall brought thee out of the land of Egypt, mm -hmm. out of the house of bondage. See, out of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. So Egypt is what? The house of bondage. So God is saying, I will bring you into a house of bondage, into slavery again. With what? With ships. With ships. Now, keep reading. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships, mm -hmm. by the way whereof I speak oh, unto thee. Right. Thou shalt see it no more again. You will never see a homeland in there again. That's why we are here. And, and there, then, and in shall, that Egypt, you shall be sold unto your enemies. Unto who? Your enemies. Read. For bondmen and bondwomen, and no man shall buy you. Now, are you a Cameroonian? Uh, yes, are you a Cameroonian? Right. Yes. Good. Look here. <laughs> Bimbia, right? Welcome to Bimbia, the slave trade site. You see here? Bimbia. What happened in Bimbia? Do you know the story of Bimbia? The white man came here, round us up, bring us in Bimbia, load us in slave ships, and ship us in Europe and America as slaves. We just read that in the Bible. Read that again, Deuteronomy 28 verse 68 again. What happened in Bimbia is in the Bible. Do you understand that? What happened in Bimbia is in the Bible. God says he will bring us into, you see here, Welcome to Bimbia, the slave trade site. Where is Bimbia? A village in Bimbe. What happened there? We were run up and load us in slave ships and ship us in Europe and sell us as slaves. That's why we are reading in the Bible. Read it again. Yes. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. And the Lord shall bring thee into slavery again with what? With ships. Did the Cameroonians went into slavery with ships? Yes. Did slave trade happen here? Yes. Did it? Yes. The slave trade happened here, right? That's why we are reading in the Bible. This Bible is your history. Who are we in the Bible? We are the Jews. We are the God chosen people in the Bible. Do you understand that? This Bible is talking about us. What nation do you come from in the Bible? You are the people of Israel. You are the people of Israel. The God chosen people that the Bible is talking about. But you don't know this because you call yourself today what? Muslim. You call yourself what? Christian. You're following Pastor Christ. You're following Arabs. Are you Arab? Are you Arab? <laughs> so why are you following Arabs? Are you Arab? <laughs> 64. Yeah, 64, read it. And the Lord shall scatter thee among all people from the one end of the earth even mm -hmm. unto the other. Mm -hmm. And there thou shalt save other gods, even which neither thou nor thy fathers have known, even wood and stone. Even wood and stones. This word, you following stones, you follow wood. You follow <laughs> the white man, you follow Arabs. Right? But we are the God chosen people. We are not Arabs. We are not European. Yes. You see, but you are following Arabs, he is following the white man. But meanwhile, we are the people of the Bible. 
the God chosen people. We are the people that went into slavery with ships and we were sold. We are the God chosen people. So stop following, calling yourself a Muslim and you stop calling yourself a Pastor Chris or Press Embassy. Christ Embassy is not in the Bible. Christ Embassy. We Christ Embassy is not about the Bible is not about Christ Embassy. So right? Right? No, what okay. we need to do, we need now on the Sabbath they give me 